and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. So as I promised you in my last video that I'll uh, make a video for you guys having the middle term, uh, having degree 2, having power 2. So here we go, we have a question here to solve it, to solve a cubic equation which has this term with power 2 with the help of Cardis method, alright. So what you have to do, there is a single step which has been added into the previous one, which is you have to consider x, I mean you have to consider y as x plus b by 3a. Let me tell you what is b, what is a and why we have put 3 and added into it. So you know the standard form, the standard cubic form is this. So here we are adding up b, that is coefficient of x square, divide by 3. We are taking 3 because the power is 3, the highest power is 3 and a is the coefficient of x cube, alright. So now, may I ask you what is b here? If you compare, b is minus 3, minus 3 by 3, a is what? Coefficient of x cube, that is 1. So this has become y is equals to x minus 1, right? Now because y is equal to x minus 1, that means x is y plus 1. So substitute this value into your main equation. So that means y plus 1 whole cube minus 3 into y plus 1 whole square plus 12 into y plus 1 plus 16 equals 0. Okay? So open it up. A plus B whole cube is A cube plus B cube plus 3A square B plus 3AB square. So 1 square is 1. Minus 3A plus B whole square is A square plus B square plus 2AB plus 12. You can expand it to 12Y plus 12 times 1 is 12. Alright. Now, again... Just expand it up to the extent in which it can be expanded. So 3y square plus 3y minus 3y square minus 3 minus 3 times 2 is 6y plus 12y plus let me write it as 28. Alright. So simplify it. This cannot be cancelled. 3y square is 3y square cancelled. Now y cube thereafter there is no y square then we have removed y square you see. So 3y minus 6y is minus 3y 12 minus 3 is 9y then uh, this is 1 so 29 minus 3 that is 26 right. This is your equation. Now, you know, from last video, we have gone through the steps from now onwards. And now, because it doesn't have any term which is having power 2, so you can do one thing. What is it? That consider the variable as u plus v and take the cubes, right? So, cubing both sides. Now y cube is equals to u cube plus v cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square but let us simplify 3ab into a plus b right take everything into the left hand side so if you take this u plus v is what y minus u cube v cube equals 0 right now compare this with the main equation so you can see y is here, 3uv minus 3uv is 9 and minus u cube plus v cube is 26, right? So uv is minus 3 and u cube plus v cube is minus 26. Make cubes here, so cubing both sides, u cube v cube minus 3 is a 9, 3 is a 27, so this is the value. Now, what the next step is what? So, you have to consider a quadratic equation. Let's have a quadratic equation whose roots are, whose, 
whose roots are u cube and v cube having the roots as u cube and v cube okay so now if the roots are these so sum you know how to make a quadratic equation let's say m is the variable minus sum of the roots plus product of the roots right this is the quadratic equation if we are having the roots and we are having sum and product of them then the quadratic equation is in the form of this right you know about it so just put down the values of sum sum is minus 26 so minus minus plus and product is minus 27 all right so you can split it up now so multiply 27 times 1 is 27 so you can split it like 27 m minus m right why because if you subtract this 27 minus 1 is 26 and if you multiply it 27 to minus 1 is minus 27 so this is the condition which we are meeting right so now take m as common m plus 27 minus 1 as common m plus 27 so you have got m minus 1 and m plus 27 that means m as 1 and m as minus 27 right so if one root is this another one is this but what were the roots which we had taken u cube and v cube so we are considering this as u cube this as v cube it's up to you whichever you want you can uh do the vice versa as well so u is one from here and v is minus three right now take it back u is one v is minus three that means y becomes one minus three that means minus two if y is minus two that means x becomes minus two plus one that is minus one so x is equals to minus one is one of the root and that means x plus 1 is one of the factor right so divide it and you know the further steps right so x divided with x cube you want x square to make it x cube plus x square subtract minus minus plus x is here now you need minus 4x minus 4x square minus 4x plus 12 and 4 16x plus 16 multiplied with 16 right so by division algorithm what is it dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder that's correct so dividend which is your this equation which you were supposed to solve and we are solving it your equation has become divisor into quotient plus remainder which is zero already so now you have one root and solve it so if i write it here x square minus 4x plus 16 try to solve it by splitting the term method or quadratic formula so let me do it by quadratic formula d is equals to b square minus 4ac firstly you have to find our discriminant right so here this is ax square plus bx plus c so b is minus 4 minus 4ac a is 1 c is 16 right let me take another pen so this is 16 16 4 is 64 and you can see because it is coming as negative so you can solve it further as complex roots so negative is what 40 minus 6 is 8 and then 5 minus 1 is 4 minus 48 all right then because you know 12 times 4 you can take the factors of this 2 to the 4 2 4 is 8 2 2 to the 4 2 6 is 12 2 3 is 6 3 1 is 3 so these can come out from the roots and this would remain in the root so you know the value of x is 
minus b plus minus root d upon 2a. So minus b, which is minus 4, that means minus minus plus, root d. So taking the root of this, root of minus 48 upon 2a, which is 1. So this is your value of x. You can simplify it by taking 48 as 2 times 2, 4 root 3 iota because minus is in the root and then this is your solution. So let me recapitulate everything once again. Whenever you are, the question is you have to solve a cubic equation using Cardan's method. What you are supposed to do, firstly remove the term having power 2. And how would you do that? You have to consider another variable, any random variable, y, as the variable which is in the question plus b by 3a. b and a are the standard form terms, coefficient, coefficient of x square and coefficient of x cube. And here you have to put the degree of the equation which is 3 here, highest power is the degree. When you um, consider this, Put the value of x into the equation and do uh, follow the process like consider that variable as u plus v, take a cubes of the both sides, make a quadratic equation, get one root, put the value, go backwards, put the value here, get the value of x and thereafter you have got one value of your equation divided get another two values and here we go you have got your three roots for this particular equation i hope you got this video and if so then don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel till my next video take care of yourself Bye bye